Well, hello tubers. Today is going to be a hard talk that nobody is really talking about and I can't mince words. I got to tell you the way it is and the truth because I feel obligated to do so. And what we're going to talk about today is how your right to camp and enjoy public land is being eroded month by month and year by year and destroying your rights. Let's talk about it. Ever notice how sometimes you're driving along with your van, your RV, whatever you camp in, and you find that beautiful place on the coast. Let's say it's in California or Oregon. Beautiful pull-off overlooking the Pacific Ocean. And you figure, hey, wouldn't this be a beautiful place to camp for one lousy night? And then you look around and you see a sign. It says, no overnight camping or parking limited to one hour. Something. There is a restriction on your right to use that public land. And this has been happening for decades and getting worse, especially in the last few years. And this is also happening within towns. There are so many cities, large, medium, small, that restrict your right to park on public taxpayer funded land. We're not talking about private land here. If you own private land, you got the right to restrict whoever uses it. After all, it's yours. I'm talking about public land. Cities will restrict the height of the vehicle, the length of the vehicle, the weight of the vehicle, so that you can't spend a night in your RV or your camper because they don't want you. Why? Let's get down to the root of the problem. For decades, liberal-minded, long-haired hippies, socialists, people who just don't care, have abused the public lands. They've thrown excrement, trash, garbage, refuse of all kinds in these wonderful places that you and I as responsible conservatives could have used, and they destroyed it. It's the typical story of the few ruining it for the many. And let's be honest, it's not conservatives showing up dumping trash all over these wonderful potential camping spots on public land. No, the root word of conservative is to conserve. And generally speaking, yeah, sure, there's a few a-hole conservatives out there. Generally speaking, it's younger people, liberals, socialists, people of the left-leaning ilk who don't care and have ruined and restricted your rights to camp responsibly. And what has allowed this problem to fester? It's called big government. Big government has promised to spend and support many people who refuse to support themselves. That combined with social security fraud, all sorts of other disability fraud, and the welfare states of various jurisdictions have allowed people to just take it easy. Camp where you want, live in your car, live in your van, do what you want. Big government will look after you. So, big government is forced to spend a lot of money on these people who are just traveling about having a good time with your tax dollars and they're camping irresponsibly on public land. So what do you expect the local and state governments to do? They start restricting where, when, and how you can camp on these public lands. On top of that, there are still so many open spaces that could be opened up to responsible camping, but big government cannot afford to open those lands up because they have to regulate and police it because they know all these left-leaning wackos are going to start dumping garbage and creating problems. And it's a liability to them, so they don't open up more spaces. Thank you very much, big government. And don't even get me started about those jurisdictions, which we all know, which I don't have to mention, where people who want to enjoy Second Amendment rights have a very tough time enjoying because of tough restrictions. Thanks a lot to the left coast, left-leaning government. 
that just makes it tough for you folks. Even where I am right now in Vancouver, they restrict how many hours you can actually, yes, hours, you can actually park your RV in front of your house in the city of Vancouver so that you can just load it and off you go. So to abide by the law, you have to quickly load up, get your RV off the street. Because, Lord forbid, you actually spend a night on those streets because, yeah, the left-leaning governments are heavily regulating it because they've handed out so much money to the people who just want to sit on their fingers and do nothing and not look after themselves. So they wind up on the streets. Yeah, where else are they going to go? They're going to live on the streets and they're going to ruin your rights to camp on public land responsibly. Now I know some of you are thinking, well, you're just uh, using a lot of hyperbole here. Well, not exactly. Sure, there are probably some irresponsible conservatives, and there is probably some very responsible liberals out there. But when we look at the left-leaning young, who really are very quick to Twitter about some sort of carbon neutral <laughs> scheme that they want to support in government, but at the same time they will throw their chip wrappers and their soda pop bottles and cans on the ground wherever they happen to be, because they actually don't give a crap. They might give a crap on Twitter, but in reality, they don't care. Because after all, they're not paying the taxes to support all of this infrastructure that you and I have supported from our tax dollars and our income over many decades. And that's the problem with a lot of the left-leaning poor. They're there for the perks. They're not there to contribute. So it leaves people like you and I to contribute to the tax base, which that money is redistributed to those who don't want to work and to those who want to dump refuse all over public lands and ruin our rights. In a strange way, it's conservatives that work hard that pay for all these restrictions. And to be fair, hardworking liberals are also throwing into the kitty and their rights are also being eroded. So what's the answer here? Do we want even more big government? Do we want even more restrictions? Apparently you do, because every year, every city, every state that I travel to has more and more parking restrictions, more and more camping restrictions, because apparently nobody is standing up to this nonsense. If you don't get pissed off and tell your elected officials that you're tired of all this nonsense and you're tired of having your rights to use public land to be heavily curtailed, what else are they going to do? They're going to keep sticking it to you. Even in the publicly funded state and municipal campgrounds, often they even restrict how long you can camp. Why? Because many of these left-leaning wackos want to make a homestead and stay forever. Well, that's just not the way it's going to work. If you want to stay forever on a piece of land, it's time for you to open your wallet and buy your own land or rent it. Even the BLM lands, and BLM means Bureau of Land Management, not what the other BLM means, if you know what I'm saying, they've had to restrict how long you can actually use your permits and what you can do while you're on that land. Decades ago, restrictions were a lot more loose. Things are always moving to the trend line of getting tighter with more restrictions and more limitations. Even in states like Hawaii, I remember decades ago on the North Shore, I could drive my rental car right onto the beach. If I got stuck on the beach, it was my own stupidity. People could actually pull their camper vans on the beach and camp there responsibly. But guess what? Too many people of the liberal-leaning ilk, moved there, started destroying the beaches with trash, excrement, and all other social problems, and now they have concrete blocks so that you can't do that, and they have parking and camping restrictions. Thank you very much, left-leaning liberals. Why is it that I generally see conservatives conserving the land and not causing problems, whereas the left tend to like lawlessness. Now that's the word tend. Now listen to me carefully. Tend. There are still responsible liberals out there somewhere. The left-leaning liberals, especially the young people, care not to conserve the land and to keep it clean and free of refuse and excrement, further necessitating big government to cause more restrictions and laws to be passed so that you cannot enjoy the public lands that your own tax dollars go to support. 
Now, if you like big government and you like your tax dollars being used to restrict your rights more and more, well, I guess you can just turn this video off now and just enjoy what's happening. If you agree with me and think this is a whole bunch of hooey that needs to stop, you need to start talking to your elected officials all over North America and tell them it's time for small government. And if the left-leaning liberals and socialists want to destroy the land, they need to come down hard on them with severe penalties. After all, most people tend to be reasonable. The million dollar question is, why are those who lean to the left causing all these problems? Is it because we're allowing them to do so? Is it because they know they can behave this way with impunity with the support of liberal left-leaning governments? I don't know. Liberals are also the same people that complain about no place to camp. Wah, wah, no place to camp. Guess what, liberals? You ruined it for yourself. Government is burdened enough with debts and obligations that it cannot continue in the fashion that it is going on now. Governments today are burdened with so many taxpayer obligations and debt and regulation. And guess what? It's got to stop. So the next time you see a left-leaning wacko liberal or socialist destroying your public land, it's time you picked up the phone and reported them or gave them a good talking to and said, hey, do you realize I'm paying the tax dollars that's going to clean this up and I'm paying to be regulated out of even using this land because of you bastards. The problem has gotten so bad that many people are deciding to buy their own land and guess what? They're being restricted from just putting an RV on their land and using it for that. Because big government wants you to develop the land and increase the tax base, so what? They can actually tax you more and take that money and give it to the have-nots. Yeah, that's what they want to do. That's why they're restricting your ability to use privately owned land in many jurisdictions for the purpose that you actually want. And we're not talking about putting a nuclear power plant or a uh, animal rendering plant on your private land. We're talking just open land that you park your RV, put a few solar panels out there, maybe put a septic system in. Yeah, they're stopping you from doing that on your own privately purchased land because they want a bigger tax base. And with that bigger tax base, they're gonna perpetuate the same problems by taking your hard-earned tax money and spending it on crazy programs that you don't even need, you might not even use, and you definitely probably don't want. Again, what is the answer to this? The answer is smaller government. The answer is conservatism, conserving the land, allowing responsible people to use the publicly owned land responsibly. Again, if you just don't care, well, it's going to be more tax and spend, tax and spend forever until bankruptcy of your state government, your local government, and the federal government occurs. And in the meantime, you will be restricted more and more every month and every year from using the public lands that you, hardworking people, pay for. So I urge you to vote responsibly for the correct choice in the upcoming months in your federal, local, and state governments or provincial governments if you happen to be Canadian. And in the meantime, folks, stay safe, keep your wheels on the ground, and I'll talk to you soon. Over and out.